Solana Pearson grew up in the Sacramento area and is now in Poland. She's helping Ukrainian orphans forced from shelter as Russia attacked their home country, including two teenagers she's in the process of adopting. I spoke with her recently about what she's doing to try to bring them home and what we can all do to help these children get to safety. I want more than anything to just get them bring them home. Two years ago, Alana Pearson and her family hosted two orphans from Ukraine, a 17-year-old boy and 16-year-old girl they soon realized they couldn't live without. The adoption took a very long time. We were actually just getting ready to finish. I can't even begin to describe. I had been so excited just a month ago thinking, in just a couple months, this is all going to be done and my kids are going to be home. Home to bond as brothers with the Pearson's two sons, play miniature golf, go on shopping sprees together as a family. The adoption was set to be finalized in May. And then this happened. The adoption po possibly was not going to be going through because of the war. What was your immediate reaction? Uh, I... I had a really hard time processing that. Um, my family and I, we just, we got the news about the invasion right when we were going to bed. The Russia-Ukraine war started February 24. Since then, Alana has endured many sleepless nights. I was crying a lot. It was really hard. In these hard times, this mom made a journey of faith and volunteered with host orphans worldwide, who sent a team to Poland as Ukrainian orphanages were evacuated. I knew I had to go. Praying that her two host children, Dennis and Anastasia, and the dozens of other orphans they lived with were among the three and a half million Ukrainian refugees who made it out alive. When I saw him and he was like, Mama, and I could just go and hug him, I, I there was no better feeling. Dennis escaped on a train as explosions were going off on both sides. Anastasia got out a week later as she was held up in a dangerous area under heavy fire near Kyiv. You see like the kids in the orphanages and they're, they'll talk to you and explain what it was like when they were on the bus or the train trying to get out and how scared they were. Everyone was prepared in their hearts. All of them were prepared that this might be it. They might not make it out. The Ukrainian government and the Polish government are working together to provide housing and basic needs. And then we're coming alongside and supporting in any way that we can with providing medicine and clothes and food. Jane Mitchell with Host Orphans Worldwide says there are nearly 90 orphans who evacuated, but many don't have an adopting family waiting for them and could be in danger. Human trafficking right now is it is happening along the Polish borders, you know, and so they have to protect the children more so now than ever. Alana will soon have to leave Poland and get on a plane home to the United States without her two host children and without knowing when she'll be able to see them gathered at the dinner table or home for the holidays. We're reaching out to our congressmen. We're asking for help that when things can uh, get moving again with the Ukrainian government, that things can be expedited. Until then, Alana says all she can do is wait. I just tried to hold it together and not lose hope. Those and are your that's kids. What we love both so much, so, so much. Alana says there are dozens of Ukrainian children waiting to be adopted. She is grateful their needs are being met by relief agencies, but it's not the same as being with a family. If you'd like to find out more on how you can help, go to Host Orphans Worldwide.